Good morning. I'm Dan Forbes, and I would like to invite you to join me in this morning's office prayer. And if you would like to follow along, you can use the green hymnal and turn to page 161. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy and hear us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now let us profess our faith by using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. O Lord, I cry to you for help. In the morning, my prayer comes before you. Give me the joy of your saving help again and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Let my mouth be full of your praise and your glory all the day long. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Awesome things will you show us in your righteousness. O God of our salvation, O hope of all the ends of the earth and of the seas that are far away. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. He redeems my life from the grave and crowns me with mercy and loving kindness. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come before you. Today's lesson is from the book of Luke, chapter 12, beginning with the 49th verse. Now, before this uh, lesson earlier in the reading, Jesus was talking to the disciples. He said that they must be ready, stay dressed, ready for action, because the Son of Man will come when you least expect him. Now, Peter is wondering who he is talking to, but it seems Jesus was talking to all of us. In today's lesson, Jesus explains the reason why he came to earth. Now, this may sound a little disheartening. By the end of the lesson, Jesus makes it very clear that we need to be in right standing with God before it's too late. I came to cast fire on the earth, and with that it were already kindled. I have a baptism to be baptized with, and how great is my distress until it's accomplished. Do you think that I have come to give peace on earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. For from now on, in one house, there will be five divided, three against two and two against three. And they will be divided, father against son and son against father, father against daughter, and daughter against mother, mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and daughter-in-law against mother-in-law. And... <clears throat> He also said to the crowds, when you see a cloud rising in the west, you say at once, a shower is coming. And so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, there will be scorching heat. And it happens. You hypocrites, you know how to interpret the appearance of earth and sky. But why do you not know how to interpret the present time? And why do you not judge for yourself what is right? As you go with your accuser before the magistrate, make an effort to settle with him on the way, lest he drag you to the judge. 
and the judge hand you over to the officer, and the officer put you in prison. I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the very last penny. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, it is your will to hold both heaven and earth in a single piece. Let the design of your great love shine on the waste of our wrath and sorrows and give peace to your church, peace in our homes, and peace in our hearts. Grant that your holy and life-giving spirit may move every human heart that the barriers which divide us may crumble, suspicions disappear, and hatreds cease, and that with our divisions healed, we might live in justice and peace. Direct us in all our doings with your most gracious favor and further us with your continual help that in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name and finally, by your mercy, obtain everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. We give you thanks, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all danger and harm. We ask you to preserve and keep us this day also from all sin and evil, that in all our thoughts, words, and deeds, we may serve and please you. Into your hands we commend our bodies and souls and all that is ours. Let the holy angels have charge of us, that the wicked one have no power over us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty order our days in our deeds in his peace. Amen. God's peace.